the grant we've received from the One Minneapolis Fund came at a time when we really needed it. It was honestly almost a lifesaver for us. It really assisted our small business owners um, at the Midtown Global Market. The Friends of Global Market and the Midtown Global Market address a couple of different needs within the community. Um, the first one is we want entrepreneurs and small businesses to thrive on East Lake Street and South Minneapolis. I run a Midtown Eye Care. Uh, it's a comprehensive eye care clinic. My wife and I, we own Farms Rice Bowl. It's an Asian fusion restaurant here inside the Midtown Global Market. So we closed for about two months uh, due to the emergency declaration by the governor and the COVID. And just as we started resuming business slowly in mid-May, our business was um, initially looted and broken into a couple nights. Um, and ultimately that entire building caught fire and it's demolished now. has reduced significantly from a standpoint of, uh, you know, we're operating at around like 30, 35 on the outside per percent of our normal re revenue. So we're just barely skating by. I'm just hanging on by a thread right now. The One Minneapolis Fund came at a time where we really needed funding. It served the business owners, it served the market, and it really served the community because we were able to spread out and say, we're still open, we're still here for you. So it really was so incredible. The fund itself directly come to us, but it certainly uh, has helped uh, with the marketing effort with the Midtown Global Market. I mean, anytime you're going through a transition, especially in such a traumatic um, event, it's not easy. Um, but I think the, the support and the teamwork and the collaborative um, effort make it as seamless as possible. I mean, it, it's not easy. Again, we lost everything at our old place and we have to essentially start from scratch with the support and the help that uh, we've gathered and received. Um, it, it, ease that transition a little bit. Uh, resiliency for me is uh, making priority changes. I know I have given up a lot. Just the other day I saw uh, a numbers out there that over a hundred thousand small businesses have gone out of business. And so for us to be still standing, that's set something in, in this environment. Well, resilient means never giving up. You know, that's our story, that we're survivors. So we are survivalists, so you have to be resilient in the face of, you know, you're facing with adversity, right? Every, every day in your life, you know, it might not be as bad as this, but there's always adversity. When I saw all those people gather in front of the market, when I saw someone, I, it was a volunteer, um, gather in front of the market after the first night, um, that to me, is what resilience is and that to me is a community that's trying to heal. Um, it was a very powerful moment within um, after everything that happened. That, that moment right there is community trying to heal itself. We have a lot of work to do but it's a start. <laughs>